Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. We are continuing our series in motors and control systems. In the last video, we looked at semiconductor diodes. In this video, we will be looking at transistors and specifically talk about the bipolar junction transistor, BJT, and field effect transistor, FET. In the next video, we will continue and pick up with the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET, and insulated gate bipolar transistor, IGBT. We will cover the components and its uses. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Transistors are a miniature electronic compound commonly used to amplify a signal or switch a circuit on and off. There are two general types of transistors in use today. The bipolar transistor, bipolar junction transistor or BJT, and the field effect transistor, FET. A bipolar junction transistor consists of three semiconductor materials consisting of an emitter, E, a base, B, and a collector, C. There are two major types of bipolar transistors, NPN and PNP. The difference between an NPN and PNP transistor is the biasing, polarity, of operation. The current directions and voltage polarities for each kind of transistor are exactly opposite each other. The BJT is a current amplifier, where a small current flow from the base to the emitter results in a larger flow from the collector to the emitter. The example shows the way a BJT is used as a current amplifier to amplify the small current signal from a photovoltaic sensor. The transistor is connected to two different DC voltage sources, the supply voltage and the voltage by the photovoltaic sensor when exposed to light. The voltages are connected so that the base emitter junction is forward biased and the base collector junction is reverse biased. The base lead current is called the base current and the current in the collector lead is called the collector current. The amount of base current determines the amount of collector current. A small increase in base current, generated by the photovoltaic sensor, results in a much larger increase in collector current. Thus, the base current acts to control the amount of collector current. Bipolar transistors cannot directly switch AC loads, and they aren't usually a good choice for switching higher voltages and currents. For these cases, a relay is used in conjunction with a low power transistor. The transistor switches current to the relay coil, while the coil contact switches current to the load. The example shows the way a BJT is used to control an AC load. With the proximity switch open, no base or collector current flows so the transistor is switched off. The relay coil will be de-energized and voltage to the load will be switched off by the normally open contacts. When the transistor is in the off state, the collector current is almost zero. The voltage drop across the collector and emitter is 12 volts, and the voltage across the relay coil is zero volts. The proximity sensor switch, on closing, establishes a small base current that drives the collector fully onto the point where it is said to be saturated, as it can't pass any more current. The relay coil is energized and its normally open contacts closed to switch on the load. When the transistor is in the on state, the collector current is at its maximum value and the voltage across the collector and emitter drops to near zero, while the relay coil increases to approximately 12 volts. The field effect transistor, FET, is a voltage controlled device. The FET uses basically no input current. Instead, output current flow is controlled by a varying electric field, which is created through the application of a voltage. The junction field effect transistor is shown here. 
It is constructed with a bar of N-type material and a gate of P-type material. Because the material in the channel is N-type, the device is called an N-channel JFET. They have three connections, source, gate, and drain. The gate may be thought of as controlling the opening and closing of a physical gate. It permits electrons to flow through or blocks their passage by creating or eliminating a channel between the source and the drain. FETs are unipolar. Their working current flows through only one type of semiconductor material. This is in contrast to bipolar transistors, which have current flowing through both N-type and P-type regions. The main differences between the N and P types is that the polarities of voltage are connected to the opposite. This concludes the video over transistors. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. In the next video, we will be looking at more transistors, specifically the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET and Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor, IGBT. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.